I'm looking Hashtag forward to over. the show. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to start with some royal news today. It's rumoured that Prince William might break away with tradition uh, when he becomes king and be the first monarch in 500 years not to be the head of the Church of England. Now, King Charles swore to protect all faiths and beliefs in his coronation last year. Uh, so, do we still need the monarch to fulfil that role? Gloria, would you be disappointed if William was not King William? I'm going to uh, be really honest with you. I'm not 100% sure exactly what head of the church the monarch should be doing or is doing. I suppose it's symbolic, isn't it? Well, maybe, but I think it's a little bit more than that because I think the Queen was marvellous because she showed her faith so many times in a very good way. And I was very comfortable with the fact that she was head of the church. And I like that. So I haven't got that far yet with Charles, so I'm actually not quite sure. Yeah. All I do know is that... I think on an individual basis, we all have a different view of faith. And I've arrived at a stage where my faith is strong, but it's, it's comfortable because a lot of it was based in a way on the final aspect of it. I, I interviewed two professors from uh, Oxford University once, and one was a real believer and the other believed in nothing. And they fought for about 10 minutes and nobody came to a conclusion. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to stick to my faith. Mm. And, and I feel comfortable with that now. And it's not that I go to church every Sunday, but I like the idea of faith. I like the idea of tradition. So if um, head of the church on the monarch is part of our tradition, then I like it. Yeah. Mm. Well, but tradition can change, of course. I mean, and, and everyone is entitled to their own faith. Of course. And I hope we would all appreciate that, is whether or not, as a country, we would want our monarchs to, uh, to be the head of the Church of England. Would that matter to you? I mean, if we look at the, the latest census, uh, Christianity is now a minority belief in England and Wales. Mm. But we're still a Christian country. We're classified. Well, well, I know, well, it depends. I know, we, <laughs> no, depends I know you, that we have... Yeah many different um, people and, and uh, countries represented here. Yeah. And that's great. And everybody can have their own faith. But, but officially speaking, we are still a Christian country. I, I don't know how you define it. I mean, funnily enough, the number of people identifying as Christian dropped by 5.5 yeah. million in the past decade. And all other major religions witnessed increased numbers. So, I mean, there is an mm. interesting shift taking yeah. place, isn't there? I, th I think, for me, I mean... Whether we have a monarchy or we don't, that's a different different argument. While we have a monarchy, I want to have a monarchy for all the people, mm -hmm. so that you know that that it is accessible to everybody. So for me, um, it wouldn't it wouldn't be a great loss. But well, I decided. Yeah, I I, I understand. <clears throat> you know, your point of view, and I understand tradition, but I think it is very much a ceremonial role these days, isn't mm. it? Yeah, but I suppose if you're not in the Church of England and you are a citizen of the United Kingdom, you might wonder, well, why is our king or queen the head of the Church of England? I don't People know. People can but... celebrate their own religion in whatever way they yeah. want, and they do, whether it's within schools or within the various churches, and nobody's against that. Yeah. I'm just saying that as it stands at the moment yeah. in history... In history, we've been a Christian country, and so far we still are, mm. until things change massively. Mm. I think, for me personally, I mean, I really don't know where uh, Prince, uh, Prince William's um, kind of allegiance is to the monarchy and that faith, but I think religion has so much discrimination and persecution. It's caused so much conflict. There's, there's so much hatred. You know, you look at Ireland, you know, Protestant, Catholic... I just think that whoever believes in whatever you believe in yeah. and why you believe in it should be an individual yeah. decision. What you shouldn't do then is preach to somebody else that they have to agree with that belief. Yeah. Um, you know, do, you, do you have a faith? I would say I'm more spiritual. Right, OK, so how do you define that? I went to a Church of England primary school, but that's mm. just because it was my school and we had mm. to do Sunday school. Now, it wasn't that I didn't like going to Sunday school, it was just the process that we went in. So I'm not... I don't believe in one thing, but I'm more... I believe in fate, I believe in uh, maybe the bigger world. I do believe there's something that guides us, but that's... But you, you believe, believe in angels, in that you? yourself. Believe in... I see feathers and I see... Angels. Um, ..butterflies, and I believe my mother's come down to give a sign. You know, I believe when I won my two gold medals and I felt like angels were holding me up and I was running because I took 20 years of ups and downs of getting it and when I finally won, I had angel written on my shoulder because I believed 
something that I had maybe manifested helped me. So it's like mm. when you manifest or when you, um, uh, what's the word, um, meditate, you're normally doing it for something to assist you in being a better person or feeling better. Mm. But what that is, I don't know. Is that similar uh, to, to you, Gloria, in some aspects, in that I know that, yes. you know, when a white feather comes down... you Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, uh, I mean, I think what we're all saying is that we can all have our individual face. After all, at the end of the day, it is what we believe and what we believe we're going to. And I like to believe that there is a heaven, I don't know what it looks like, but, for example, my Karen, uh, she always believed in angels. And, and all religions have had angels in their religion for centuries. And when she would find a white feather, isolated white feather, I'm not talking about a bunch of them from some white dove or something, but she would say, oh, that's an angel's calling card. And so I don't care whether people think this is crazy or not, I don't care. It gives me faith. When I come home on a wet day and I see a lovely dry white feather on my doorstep, I say, ah, Karen's been here today. It's yeah. a sign. So I lift the feather, put it in here. Yeah. I've got jars of them inside. <laughs> and it makes me feel yeah. Yeah. stronger. Absolutely. And, um, comfort, yeah. Just, yeah. Yes, and I, and I don't care what other people sort of think of that. Some people say, oh, it's rubbish, mm. but I don't care. Yeah. I think I mean, whatever gives you comfort. Yeah.